Are you looking for a new way to enjoy your ducks and geese? If you like cold cuts, well, stick around. I have something for you. Hi everyone, my name is Audren and welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. So I start with two nice breasts and here I'm making sure that they're clean of you know feathers, uh, no BBs left inside, uh, removing most of the blood clot. Uh, this step here is completely optional. Uh, you don't have to add fresh herbs at all, but it's really up to you. But here I'm adding a little bit of thyme and rosemary. Some pepper. My pepper here is a mix of black, green and pink pepper. In a shallow dish, um, I'm adding enough salt and sugar. The ratio here is uh, one part sugar, three parts salt, but I'm adding enough salt to cover at least a good centimeter to two centimeter at the bottom of the plate. I will lay the breast meat size down. I have a little bit more herbs, so I'm just adding those on top. And I will cover the rest with that same mixture of one part sugar, three parts salt. I will cover the two breasts. I'll make sure that all nooks and cranny are really, really filled. And I will lightly press on the, um, the whole thing to make sure you know, we have good contact with the, the mixture and the meat. You need to leave that on the side for 24 hours. It could be in the fridge or on the countertop if it's not too warm. The next day, you have to recover your breast, which have now changed in color and texture. And we also um, feel much more firm to the touch. I will usually clean them under running water to remove any chunks of salt or fine herbs that are left on the meat before the next step. Here I made a mistake and you will see the result in a, in a couple of minutes. But it's important to let the piece of meat dry out completely before wrapping them in cheesecloth. When you have them nicely wrapped, you can put it in the fridge hanging. Uh, you don't want anything to touch them. Uh, you want good earth circulation around. And I keep them in the fridge for about four months. Four months later, here, I'm having trouble removing the cheesecloth. Why? Because I didn't let my meat dry enough um, four months ago. So I have some lint stuck here and here, but it's okay, I'll do some cleanup, and you know, this is still pretty good, pretty edible. And that's it, folks, you're done. This is very easy. You can pack this with you on the trail. I wouldn't store it in a seal tight container. I think I would still want some air circulation around it. So keep it in the cheesecloth, for example, if you're going camping. And avoid, of course, getting it wet. Okay, you don't want any moisture. Here for a nicer presentation, uh, yes, you can scorch the, uh, the hair feathers on the top. Just, you know, lightly, lightly do it. You don't want to melt the, the fat. Yes, it's going to smell funny for a sec, but nothing will transfer to the meat itself. And voila, folks. You like this video? Hit that subscribe button. 
follow me for more artsy fancy cooking video but also hunting and fishing and uh, the occasional gear review videos so i hope you enjoy this one and have a great day oh actually i forgot what happened if you were to open the breast before the four month mark and i have one here which uh, remember i had two so i opened the first one on the first month to see how it was uh, doing and you can see the texture is actually quite different you know the, it still has a lot of moisture in it still perfectly edible you know it was I, I ate it all it was good but know that the texture will change over time and at this stage it was more like raw meat you know salted raw meat than actual uh, the cold cut that we're all used to